Hey guys, so onto the final part of our riff section. So this is using uh, what's called a tritone. So again, I spoke about this in, I think it was solo one. So if you've already watched that video, um, you'll be familiar with, with what a tritone is. So it's basically taking notes that are three tones apart from each other. And it sounds really super kind of dissonant sounding, very dark. Um, so this section goes like this. Okay, so that's really, really jarring. So what we're doing is using a, a tritone shape and just moving it down a tone each time. Okay, so we start on the sixth fret of A, okay, and then we pick the fifth fret of E, so it goes. Okay, so you see I just add a palm muted low E string just before that, so it goes. Okay, and then I do the same thing on the fourth and third frets, and then on frets two and one, okay? So it should sound like Okay, and again, if you're feeling up to it, you can just add a few pinched harmonics here and there if you like. Um, plenty of vibrato as well, so. Okay, and then the riff just cycles around again. Okay, so if I just try that with a drum machine now and you'll hear on which beat it falls. Okay, so. Three and four and one and okay so you hear it comes in kind of after beat one so one two three four so one and two and three and four and one and ba -ba 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 so it's just just after that beat one um so if i do that one up to speed roughly so we'll go what's a little bit faster actually down to there. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so that's how it should sound in the context of the riff. Um, and then just one more time, the riff as a whole sounds something like this. Two, three, four. And there we go. That's a Dimebag style riff for you to have some fun with. Enjoy.